Okay, let's show you how to use Microsoft Word to create a presentation of learning and export it as a PDF file. So, to begin with, I'm going to use some of my stuff that I've made already just to save you time. We'll do this like we did in Lucid Press, the basics of Camera Raw. So, I will paste that in and I will highlight it and make it a title. I'll come up into the format and change the case to title case. That's good. Put my name there. And then let's go grab some text. So I am going to highlight text here and copy it. Come back into Microsoft Word. If I paste it, it will use the same formatting as it was on that web page, and I don't want that. So I need to come into the Edit menu, Paste Special, and paste it in as unformatted text. I can always go back in and format it uh, here in Microsoft Word. So, for example, um, picture bear pattern. Take that space out from in front and make that bold picture. And the source is, and we'll make that bold. And that one bold. And then we'll come in and let's turn these into a link. So you highlight the text and right mouse button click, go down to hyperlink notice Microsoft has copied our highlighted text into it uh, already web page or file we'll click OK and that has become a link make sure that you're careful about what that you don't want to get any extra spaces or anything like that in again uh, right mouse button click hyperlink and click OK Let's give it a little bit of breathing room. We can check those just by clicking on the links and they both seem to work just fine so that's that's great. So how do we insert a picture? Well Microsoft Word likes to kind of fight you on where you want to place them so the best solution that I have found is to go to the insert menu, insert a text box, you want to draw the text box, then you, you want to draw a box with the top edge being right where you want it to be. All right. Then what you do is you go to your source file. Let's say I want that one. I'm going to save that as an image to my desktop. Go back in here. I can grab that image from off my desktop and just drag it into the text box. And that will work. I can resize it if I wish. Uh, but I will have a hard time moving it around so make sure that that text box goes in just exactly where you want it. Uh, again, insert a text box that I'm going to draw and I'm going to put one right there. Go over to my other document save that as an image so I have it sitting on my desktop drag it in and I'm good to go. Alright. A movie is a little bit harder. You, you have the ability to insert a video or audio into a Microsoft Word document but when you export it as a PDF it's not going to work. So let me show you an alternative way of putting in a video in Microsoft Word so that when you export it as a PDF it will work. So what we're going to do is let's 
go to this video and I'm going to copy the URL and then I'm going to find a place that I would like to to uh, copy a screenshot from. So back into Microsoft Word I am going to grab another text box in the insert menu and let's say I want to put the movie right right there. Alright. So now what I do is I would like to insert again but this time what I'd like to do is to whoops, click on the insert menu and I'd like to do a screen clipping. So I'll click on that. Microsoft Word will disappear. Then I can come and draw a box around what I would like to clip there and Microsoft will pop it in there for you. And then what you do is you right mouse button click and do a hyperlink and paste that YouTube or other video address in there and then it will work. So let's pretend that this is all done and I've got it nice and, and ready to, to go. Um, what I do is I go File. I'd like to save it as, <clears throat> but instead of a Microsoft Word document, I would like to save it as an export PDF. And we'll click Export, and there it goes. So there's my PDF file. You'll notice that my links work. You'll notice that my video will actually take us somewhere and we've got a nice clean looking presentation of learning.